So let's go into some of the places you can specifically find real estate comparables and what those are. The first and foremost one is Zillow. With Zillow, you can kind of get an idea of other properties. When you go and you look at a property, it will show you similar properties and what they're sold for or what they're selling for. And that can give you a very good idea of comparable sales. Zillow has filters that allow you to search by price, bedroom, square footage, and all that. So that allows you to do that. Another place to look for comparable sales is Property Shark. Property Shark is a site that shows you recent sales in the area and will give you comparables for the property you're looking at. So typically when you go on the site, you'll see other properties that have sold, and then you're gonna pick out the ones that are similar in square foot, similar in look, similar in bedroom count, and similar location, okay? Make sure location-wise, you aren't miles away. You wanna be within a mile or less of the property. Preferably a quarter mile, half mile is standard, but the more you go out, the less likely it's comparable because neighborhoods can change in some areas quite dramatically over a mile or two. Now, when you're looking at properties, Trulia is a good source where it will give you a lot of details about the property. It will show you down on the bottom when the property sold and transferred and what it sold for. So oftentimes you could see the progression of elevation or decrease in prices, say around 08 or 09 or 07 during the market crash. And you could see about what things, what the property sold for and what people have paid. And that's great information to have. So truly it would be another site. And if I'm trying to figure out the value of a property, I'm looking at a few of these things, okay? Especially if it's something that I really wanna buy. I'm getting a real good idea by using a number of different sites to give me information and compare and contrast. Redfin is another site. They have a find a home feature that shows a number of properties that have been sold in the last couple of years. This is a website too that will give you comps and, and sales in and around the area that you're looking at a property. And by the way, I always recommend that you try to drive by the property, especially if you're new and you don't know the area. And I recommend you drive by in the daytime and in the nighttime. Because in the daytime, it may look one way, and in the nighttime, it may look a different way. So I drive by in the daytime and the nighttime. And when I say nighttime, I'm not gonna talking about seven o'clock at night. I'm talking about 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, okay? There's times I've driven by properties in the daytime, they look, ah, oh, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Come by at night, it's not such a beautiful neighborhood. So make sure you go by and look at these properties that you're interested in buying and get an idea of what's happening in and around the area. And the last thing I will talk about here today is realtors. You know, realtors will just give you comps. They'll send you emails because they want your business. So you can ask them, hey, I'm looking at this property. You know, what, what do you think it's worth? And they'll send you some comparable values. Now, one thing to be careful of, make sure you get all the comparables, not just the highest, not just the lowest, all of them and get an idea of what's going on in that area. It's important that when if you're gonna buy something, presumably, or you wanna sell something and you look at it comps, you get a full and accurate picture, which is why you use multiple websites, talk to realtors, and get ideas of what things sold for. You know, a lot of times you could call realtors and you'll just ask them, say, hey, I'm thinking about selling my house. You know, what do you think it's worth? And they'll tell you. Sometimes they'll tell you right over the phone. And if they work in that market and they're familiar with it, that's great information because that's what they do, right? So if you want true and accurate comps, use these sites. Make sure you follow me, like, subscribe so you can learn more about real estate. And I'll see you on the next video where related topic, what is hard money in real estate? You know, finding a value of a property and all that, the next thing you want to do is be able to execute. And in order to execute and buy properties, you have to have what? The money. So let's talk about hard money and what it is, and I'll see you on that video. I'm Paul McGuire, talk to you then.